As you guys know, we've covered deck reviews on this channel and two decks just released last week. We also have the Gardevoir deck as well. So if you want to see what's inside of this box, if it's worth it, my thoughts on it, make sure you guys check out that video and check out the deck review playlist link down below. So Victini V is definitely one of the more popular mythical, like legendary Pokemon. A lot of people love this Pokemon and uh, this deck is actually really, really good, especially for beginners. So let's take a closer look at the box itself before we get into it and show you guys what you can expect if you end up buying this deck. And I'm actually going to be giving away this deck that you guys see here after I review it so if you want this deck comment down below do you own any decks right now or would this Victini V deck be your first so here is the Victini V battle deck as you can see it says at the top left hand corner this is play level one so this is like a super entry level deck here's a look at the side look at the bottom look at the other side and on the back of the packaging it tells you what you can expect inside the box all of these along with the deck list so here's what's included in the Victini V battle deck you have a couple of things including a jumbo coin which i was not expecting oh my gosh that's a really cool coin but here's a look at the jumbo victini coin that comes with the deck really glossy metallic finish looks like there's some scratches already on it although i just opened it up that's a little too bad we also have the promo victini v it looks really cool so this art is only available in this deck if you want this art any other way you're gonna have to pay a little premium for this promo card as a single but there are other ways to get victini v the other version of this that released in the standard booster set is i have it right beside me this one right here so they're kind of like battling each other almost has the exact same attacks and everything it has spreading flames and energy burst both very very good attacks and there's another version of victini v that also came out i believe in shining fates or battle styles i'll have the card on screen right now the attacks aren't as good but it's still a solid version of victini v now, if you want to upgrade this deck, I'll let you guys know how later into this video. But if you want more copies of this card with the same attacks, you can get the Victini V from the Sword and Shield booster, booster set. And this is where this card is from. It's only a couple of dollars, but this is a very, very strong deck once you actually build it at a more competitive level. The Victini V deck is honestly probably gonna be one of the more meta fire decks as we go into the more Sword and Shield standard era of cards. So uh, so yeah, if you were thinking about buying a deck that you were potentially going to upgrade and maybe go to like little tournaments and stuff at your local game shop, the Victini V deck is a great starting base in my opinion, but we haven't even got into the cards yet. So let's get to that before I preach about how good this deck could potentially be. You also get a code here, which we'll give to the give away winner this will unlock the deck online so as you guys know not all local stores have tournaments available so if you want to practice this deck online play with it you get the deck and all the cards included for the online trading card game box here which is really convenient to store all the cards now the only problem with this box is once you actually get you know card sleeves to protect your cards uh, make it easier to shuffle them as well you can't use this box anymore Bruh. this box only fits the cards without sleeves which is really crappy you get a little little pamphlet here that tells you about poison uh, damage burn confusion all that stuff so it also has the uh, order of the actions in your turn so in case you want to in case you're learning want to have a quick little heads up of what you can do on your turn that's what you can do some damage counters as well dice are very popular to use instead of these but here you go these are really great and they have a metallic kind of finish Next up, you have a, uh, a big play mat. So I'll just, uh, well, actually, this is the play mat. Here it is. So I'll have some uh, video footage right now of what this play mat looks like opened up on screen right now. It looks really, really, uh, it looks like a, it could be a cool desktop wallpaper for my computer. You also get this paper here that tells you about the Victini V battle deck. It says, welcome to the Pokemon TCG Victini V battle deck. This deck is built around the mythical fire type Pokemon Victini V plus other fantastic cards from the sword and shield series so if you guys want to go ahead and pause you guys can just read what it says right there but it basically tells you some of the strategies with this deck and then on the very back it also tells you about Gardevoir V's battle deck and uh, this is just mass printed so they can include 
uh, that could include these quickly into both of the boxes. You get this exact same paper in both boxes. And of course, this wouldn't be a starter deck without, you know, being able to teach you how to play. So it includes the V battle deck, or not the V battle deck rules. This is just the quick start rules. There's no special rules for V battle decks. Uh, but yeah, it gives you the rules of the game. So if you want to learn how to play with your friends, with your kid, with a loved one, this is an easy way to play. But honestly, I think the best way you can learn how to play is to play the game online. I highly recommend you try it. It's super easy and it basically helps guide you with the turn order and what you can do on your turn. So play the game online. It's free. Now let's get to the actual cards that are included with this deck. The only promo card that is exclusive to this deck you can't get anywhere else is the Victini V right here. But yeah, the rest of the cards are available to buy as singles on, you know, every single platform available. Every store has these singles. So we of course have the Victini V promo, fire energy, fire energy, fire. I just got a, quite a few fire energies. There we go. We got a hop, which is a really good supporter card to start off with. Let's you draw three cards similar to Bill back in the day. We got Volpix, uh, Score Bunny. So we got some basic Pokemon here. We got a Switch, a staple card. Both highest tier level decks use Switch. It's a really, really great card. We got Dan, which is kind of a weird supporter. Uh, we also have more Fire Energies, Reboot, Great Ball, Nine Tails. So this deck, outside of having the very strong Victini V card, you also get the evolution lineup of Score Bunny from Sword and Shield and Nine Tails as well, which is really nice. Well, let's keep it going. We got Nine Tails, Fire Energy. Fire Energy, Milo, Professor's Research, a staple as well for a lot of decks. Let you draw seven. You just have to discard the rest of your hand. Cinderace. Cinderace is a very, very solid card. So if you're not going to be playing around Victini V, this is a good evolution chain to have in your deck. Fire Energy, some more gym trainers. Mincino, really cute card as well. BD, which will help give you extra energy card attachments on your turn. Great for Victini V because you can do more damage the more energies that are on it. So it stacks, it's really, really good together. More fire energy is Hop, a uh, Chatot, Turtonator, a card you could probably take out and put something else in, but 130 HP is gonna lead for some good stall time. Got some more fire energy is Evolution Incense, really important card to have in this deck because you're going to be able to evolve both your ball picks and your score bunny and if you want to upgrade this deck definitely get the victini v max and you can just pull that card out of your deck with this the evolution incense you need this card in your deck we got hop another reboots fire energy sonya vol picks a uh, score bunny fire energy level ball great to get a score bunny or a nine to, uh for so Vol sorry volpix out of your deck Cincino, bd gym trainer mincino again fire energy dan great ball really great card as well great for searching up pokemon in your deck search the top seven cards for pokemon pull one out and it can either be a basic or an evolutions or a Victini V, which is what you hopefully can try and get. We got Milo, Fire Energy, Cinderace again, which is great. They include more than one copy because it really sucks when the Cinderace is stuck or like the card you really want is in your prize cards because then you just can't get it all game. So including two, good idea, Pokemon Company. We got another Switch, Fire Energy, Score Bunny, Ninetales, Vulpix, Level Ball, Fire Energy, Professor's Research, Hop, a Chatot, Fire Energy and Reboot. So overall, I gotta say this is probably one of the better V Battle decks you can buy. Obviously, if you're gonna fight the Blastoise V deck, it's gonna have a little bit of a weakness because you're gonna take double damage. But uh, this is a really good deck if you are just getting into the game and want something that's strong, that's gonna be able to uh, not be bullied by other decks. And if you wanted to upgrade it, this is a deck that's very easy to upgrade by adding more Victini Vs to it, along with cards like Burning Scarf and the Victini V Max. This card isn't too expensive, or at least one of the Victini Vs isn't too expensive. So uh, if you wanted to add more copies of them, it'll definitely help the deck out a ton. Comment down below what you guys think about the deck. And for the giveaway, would this be your very first Pokemon deck? Or do you have other decks already? I would love to know. Check out the Gardevoir V deck. I'll leave a link down below or as a card pop up on screen right now if you have any questions about this deck let me know in the comments and yeah hopefully you guys have a great week i'll catch you in the next video peace out